I go to, well, trust me, the coolant, low coolant level is on. So, that being said, it's no big deal, right? Well, this summer, just give you a little backstory. This summer, uh, see that coolant, I normally fill it up to that seam there. This summer I had overheated this, uh, sitting in traffic, and uh, it just started overheating. So, didn't think much of it. I got out of the traffic, started going down to see if I can get pulled over somewhere, and the, uh, the light went off, it st stopped overheating. So I was thinking at that point, well, it's probably just a fan clutch or something easy, you know. And honestly, it didn't do anything since. And here it is, January, middle of January. And that flu fluid, this marks the third, second or third time the light came on low coolant. Again, I didn't think much of it the first time, but obviously this coolant's going somewhere. So, I don't know what to make of it because the garage floor is dry, underneath is dry, well it's not dry now, I can't show you because it's just a mud mess, but there's nothing that drips out of the car. The heater core, I mean, you know, it's got good heat, kind of ruling that out. Uh, this, like I said, this truck has 73,000 miles on it. I bought it from a friend of mine. I'm pretty sure he did not do any water pump or anything. He did do exhaust. Uh manifolds but I'm pretty sure no water pump was done um, so I don't know what to do here I'm hoping it's not internal I really am so I have this chemical test that I did you know where uh, you uh, it, it, it's not really accurate but it you know if you have a big leak I suppose it would take you know it's one of those kits that turns green or uh, the fluid is blue you put it in your, uh, you know, your your uh, cap there or your reservoir, and uh, it's supposed to. Let me get that. I'll show you. It, it passed. You know, I, I uh, and I put this under pressure. I put that cap. The only thing is, I well, let me show you. Hold pressure there too. So it's still blue, and uh, you know, to see if this stuff works. Guess what we can do is, you know, because it's supposed to me measure. I, uh, carbon, or, you know, still, right? So, technically, we sniff this, should turn colors. It doesn't, but the kit's, uh, yeah, there it goes. That's three times. Three times and it turned green. So, green is for gas. It was a yellow for gas. I don't know, I forget, but it did turn colors. The more I do it. More, it's uh, changing color, so I don't know if it's yellow or green. Whatever the case is, the chemical does work, uh, the reaction, but I'm not getting any reaction, you know, when I do it in here. So, like I said, that would be good news. Unfortunately, I got oh, sorry about that. I got fluid going somewhere. It's not. It's slow, but surely. I mean, like I said, that, that tank has been filled more than once, uh, probably three times in the last year. And, uh, you know, it's down. I always fill it to that seam, the equator there, and it's down too much. So, it's going somewhere. And again, I don't have any leaks underneath. So, the next thing I, I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to try to put it under pressure. I'm going to try to test the cap again and try to hold pressure on the system. See if, if All right, so put the appropriate cap on there and uh, see if we can get some pressure on this. The cap reads 15 pounds, so I'll, I'll pump this up to 15 pounds. And if I have a leak, then this thing will produce you know enough pressure to force it out maybe I'll go over 15 pounds I don't want to get too far but um, and if there is a small tiny pinhole leak it should piss out of somewhere and uh, I'm hoping for the best I'm hoping for that because I don't want it to be internal you know what speaking of that I'm not gonna lay on this uh, shitty ass dry weights all mud and shit um, I'm gonna let me I'm gonna pull it inside. Alrighty. Oh. You real wet. so I got a I got a pan downstairs and a light in case anything starts leaking. But my plan is to uh, just 
Very popular. Let's take a few. There's two pounds. This could be a while. <laughs> so it's two pounds. Oh man, I can see it now. My hands are really tired doing this. But at least it's pumping, so I'll try to get it up to five, ten pounds. Look for leaks, maybe more. Fifteen pounds is max. I don't know if I want to go up that high, but. I gotta pause this. Yeah. False alarm. Dog's barking at nothing. Squirrel! Uh, so there's seven pounds. I think I'll take it up to ten maybe. So it's almost ten, about nine. Oh my god, this thing's taking forever. There's ten. Still. Let me go up to fifteen. Let me go up to max pressure. Because this is a very slow leak. I mean, I'm replacing this at, uh, like I said, in a year, probably top it off two, maybe three times. So it's a very slow leak. But, like I said, when I released it, when I took the original cap off, you know, it pissed out. I thought I heard something. So we're almost, uh, oh, I think I do hear something. I think I do hear something. Oh, Bingo. Bingo was his name. Oh. Look at that got something pissing out of here. Oh, crap. What the... Where the fuck is that coming from? Huh. There is just... Too much pressure, I guess. Spilling out everywhere. Oh boy. Let me see up top. Let me see up top. Maybe there's too much pressure. It's only like 11 pounds of pressure. That shouldn't be too much. I can't even see what I'm looking at here. First, I guess. Let me turn this uh, camera off. See if I can locate where this is dripping from. Is it coming from a hose? Let me turn this camera off a minute. Let me go find that drip. Well, I can't really identify it. It's uh, relieved a little pressure to stop it from flowing so much, but I'm actually glad it's flowing. But everywhere I look, it's just kind of um, on. Uh, See that? It's just kind of running along the rail of the bottom plastic radiator uh, support. So and I can't, you know, looking in there, I can't uh, can't pinpoint where exactly it's coming out. So I'm going to have to get rid of uh, some shrouds. So hopefully it's the bottom of the radiator. That'll work. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> better than an internal. Here. Better than internal, so I'm glad it did piss out of there, but now I gotta find out where the hell it's leaking from. So uh let me take the pressure off of here just because who needs a mess. So so let me get busy uh I'll take a bunch of this shit off here, see if I can get to the bottom of things. I can't see nothing with these shrouds on, so let me, let me take that shit apart. So hopefully it's a little pinhole in the bottom of the radiator. See what happens. Although it doesn't overheat, so it doesn't make sense, but we'll see what well, happens. Well, I pumped her up again, and she started leaking again. It's still, I got a lot of shit out of there. And it's kind of hard to tell, but it is losing pressure, so it's, it's definitely got a leak. Um, I swear it held pressure before, but 
Anyways, uh, I think it's the bottom of the radiator uh, where the bottom radiator hose goes in, you know. Um, let me pump this out, see if I can get it leaking again. Go underneath there, and because there's no way, I mean, uh, that's the radiator hose there. You know, the bottom of it, I'm thinking it's the tank itself, because, you know, I'll try to get it leaking again and go under there. Seems to leak about, uh, I don't know, it's, I don't know why it's not leaking now, it was. This fucking thing's empty now, there's stuff in there. Huh. About 12 or 13 it started uh, leaking, so maybe I gotta pump it up more now. Shit. Oh man, it's killing my hand. Killing! Come on. about 12. I don't know, it was leaking pretty good. I don't know why it stopped now. Hey, it sealed itself. Yeah, not. Oh. Okay, here's some drips. That's a uh, 12. Maybe up to 13. I think that's where about, which is odd. Only starts pissing out of there about 13. there on it. How do you like me now? Well, that's, that's a lot. I'm surprised it stopped pissing out of there. It really am. Getting towards max max capacity. If something's in the pinhole like a piece of rust. Uh, let me go under there. I took off a bunch of shit. Now it stopped leaking. Son of a bitch. It was leaking all over the place. Ain't that a... Couldn't really identify it, you know? Um, it's hard to see in here. Oh, boy. Oh, my light's no longer in there. You're never going to see that under here. It's too dark. So anyways, it was pissing out on both sides, so I'm assuming it went across the rail, you know? But it's odd to me why that thing ain't pissing out now. It's like it's done. Maybe because the, I don't know, bottom of it, it's the, I don't know if to think about it. Maybe because the thermostat's closed or something, I don't know. You get enough in there. Let me get up here. Ugh. So anyways, I do believe, I'm glad it's pissing out. I'm, I'm happy and sad. I mean, it was, uh, was pissing out pretty good so maybe maybe the truck does have to warm up and uh, open a thermostat I don't know but it's this bottom radiator hose which uh, let's see if I can get a light in there you know if you uh, look down there see that clamp it's all rusty too underneath it underneath it is uh, let's see if I can get a picture of that Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hmm. See if you sneak your hand down there. I mean, even oh, wow, look at that. I thought that was a. That's a. That's not an original clamp. So. Hmm. That's interesting. That's just a regular hose clamp. I know that ain't factory. Anyways, let me see if I can get. Uh, my hand underneath here. See the bottom of the hose is kind of oh she's pissing out now. It's pissing out now, I don't know what happened. Back down there while I can. Oh fuck, I forgot my light. Oh yeah, she's coming out of pretty good. I still can't. There's no fucking light. 
It's definitely coming from the right side. I think it's just working its way over to the to the left. Boy, that was out of just come pissing out to the hole there. I think it's just part of the God damn it. I can't get a goddamn eyeball on it. It's really hard to tell where it's leaking from. And I did just, uh, let's see if I can get in here this way. Nope. Problem is getting this camera in here to show you what a leak is, is really problematic. So if I reach down under here, wow, that hose feels loose too. I think it's the bottom of the radiator. I just can't tell. Really can't tell. Definitely gonna have to take the radiator out. Obviously, it's pissing all over the place. Uh, let me see if I can get a better look at it. Okay, I think I found a problem. So, if you, uh, it's a good thing I didn't take this, man. I've been fucking stranded in another country. If you just torque on this, uh, get my hand in there, around this, torque on this, uh, in there it's pissing out good now because I have a feeling what was going on boy oh boy can't get light can't get hand can't get nothing all right so it's pissing out I think from the bottom of that radiator hose the big one I don't know if it's gonna focus here but watch here it come right and I think the whole fucking thing is broke no, I think pain just fell in there. Yeah, I think the whole thing is shot. So, pretty sure it needs a new radiator. And I'm making a mess out of my goddamn floor. I can tell you that. Alright. It's not internal. <laughs> it's a radiator. For whatever reason, it wasn't leaking. It, no, no, uh, you know, no remnants on the garage floor. I, I you know, I couldn't tell. And this has been ongoing for a better part of a year that, you know, just top it off. Wasn't lo losing much, so I think it was just a hairline crack around, you know, because it's plastic, around the bottom of that hose. And uh, just by applying pressure, was able to piss out a little bit. But then, twerking on the bottom of that hose, that's all it took. I think she uh, she's pretty cracked now. So, I'll have to get a new radiator, and hopefully that's just it. Get some new hoses, and I'll probably put a clutch fan in there while I'm at it because I got to take that clutch fan off to get that lower piece of that radiator uh, shroud off so might as well do that but anyways so that was interesting maybe I'll show a fix I don't know or if I get the radiator out maybe I'll uh, post that at a later time but that's all I got for now <laughs> one more thing so I can't take the truck right I'm gonna take my car take that over to friend's house I don't know if you heard earlier, uh, you know, I, I don't know where we were at, but um, I said, hold on a second, my dog's barking, which, you know, I don't really have property with, you know, it must have been a squirrel or something. <clears throat> Usually, uh, if the UPS guy backs down the driveway or whatever, so I didn't think nothing of it because I went out there and looked, he didn't bark, so I threw him in a car. Here, sitting there a while. Apparently he wanted whatever the heck he was after. Because <laughs> now, now I, I have to replace a radiator. And, uh, run it, uh, yeah, uh, let me see, I, get, I don't have a light, hey fucker, he's like, I want out of here, I want out now, leather seats no more, <laughs> the fucker, tore that shit up, and I just cleaned most of the foam up and stuff, um, I'm gonna tell my friends when I get there tomorrow, so I have a little mouse damage. <laughs> Uh, now I got a new fucking seat. This is a this is an old car, you know. It's a '97, but it's got no rust. Came from down south, and I love this car. So now I got to get new seats, well, new front seats anyway. Back seats made it. Fuck. But don't you know? What do you call it? When it rains, it pours. Son of a bitch. So anyways, I got to load that up now. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Funny. <laughs> Not to me, but. Gotta be funny to somebody. <laughs>